take the pencil to draw. Using this tool, you will trace constant thickness lines. Set the size you prefer, moving the cursor on the size slider, and start drawing. Using the brush, you will draw lines with variable thickness. To draw the trunk of a tree, increase the maximum size using the slider and start a very thick line. Then decrease the strength of the pressure on the graphic tablet and the trunk will turn into a branch. With the eraser I cancel the mistakes. For example, I don't like this tree. The arrow lets you select one line the drawing just clicking on it or some lines at once. To do that, Click and drag tracing a square around the lines you want to select. All the selected lines become dashed. Now you can scale them up and down, rotate or flip them. Select the text tool to add a title to your scene. You can adjust size, color and choose the lettering you prefer clicking on these little arrows. Alright, now let's draw a little house. Take the rectangle to draw the house and the windows and the circle to draw the dormer window. Then I use the line tool to add the roof and the door. It's not so difficult, isn't it? Look out! This line is actually too long. So take the cutter and cut it wherever you want. Then, to delete the unwanted part of the line, select it with the arrow and delete it, clicking on the Cut button. Select the paint bucket to paint the drawing. To add colors in the palette, you just have to click on a grey square and move the cursor on the color's image. The color would be automatically updated. The colors you add can be used both to draw new elements and to paint them. Look at the style editor on the right of the palette. Can you see the circles between the two arrows? Those are all kinds of special colors using which you can enrich your drawings. Look what happens. I'll add some ants with the ants custom style. I prefer flowers. Easy to do. Click on the arrow and when you see the flower you like, click on the circle. It's not magic, but in a click the ants become flowers. And if you think the sky is too flat, replace the flat blue with the gradient color navigating through the special area styles. And choosing the colors you want, selecting the little squares on the left. Use the textures to fill the house with the brick or a special line to add grass to your lawn. Now it's definitely lovely! Let's go on with the tools. If you need to join two lines, choose the tape tool, click on the beginning of the line and keeping pressed, go to the end. Your hand is not firm? Don't worry, iron the faltering lines with the iron tool.
You traced lines with a pencil and now you're not happy with the thickness of the drawing contours. Take the pump tool and increase or decrease the thickness of the lines. Here you are, the line pinch. Deform your drawings as you like to create your animation. Drawing your favorite ice cream has never been so simple using the shape pinch. You can draw it with a line tool and round it off very simply deforming the line with the shape pinch. Zoom in and out very quickly using the magnifying glass. Panning your drawing area is quite easy with the hand tool.